We can do anything we want to do with DMX control. Okay? How many people are scared of DMX? Scared of DMX. A little too much rocket science right there, right? Well, for those of you that don't know, my day job is building rocket ships. Okay? I work for Virgin Galactic, the spaceship company, and we build rocket ships during the day. So, DMX, wow, pretty easy for a rocket scientist, right? No, not so much. I fought with DMX. I, I cursed it. I was hating it. I'm like, screw it. I'm a spit and puke guy forever. Just let him go. Okay? But I had no control over my room. I had no elegance. And that's what sells your bride. You want to take care of your bride, you want that elegant look, right? How many people agree with elegance sells? Yes, it does. Not, <laughs> it does. So we have $3,000 for full room up lighting. And uh, wow, pretty good. How many people are going to use an extra $3,000 in their bank every weekend? Right? Work your way to the top, not to the bottom. Charge for what you're worth. If it took me 10 guys to set this up in 30 minutes, you charge for those 10 guys because they had a room turnover. Because no other DJ company or production company can do that for them. They're just going to get the two speakers and a flashy light, or they're going to get their two. I think they're going to get it. Just give me the two mega parts. Two mega parts. They're just going to get their two mega parts. They're going to get their two up lights. Okay? That's it. Because they cannot set up a room that quick. So I'm not sure what they're going to do for them. They promised they're the, the world, right? So planning. Program your lights before you get there. Okay? We spent hours programming our lights in the last weeks or so to get, make sure the show works. Okay? There might be glitches here and there, but we work through them. No problem. Don't be scared of DMX. It's your friend. It makes your life easier. How many people use hard controllers? Hard controllers? Software controllers? Wireless controllers? Nice. They're moving up in the world. They're moving up in the world. Make your life a little easier. Okay? You want the room to look good. You want to command an extra dollar or so for your event. Okay, so here's a 10 millimeter LED right here from American DJ. You get a kind of a narrow beam angle. You get a little narrow beam angle. Man, that light just bugs me. Hey, I'll turn it off. Wow. Wireless LED remote control. I like it. Should be an obnoxious, right? Turn that thing on. So how hard was that? I just walked up to a light. It was, you know, it was at my event. I needed blue up lights. Walk over there with a wireless LED remote control, turn it on. I can make it blue, green, whatever, right behind the cake table, make it look elegant, charge your bride, okay? You're gonna get hired for the next event. So, we're gonna take it up a notch. So that was a 10 millimeter LED, right? This is a, these are tri-LEDs. How many people have stepped up into the tri-LED mode? Anybody know the difference between tri-LEDs and traditional, I call them uh, light bright style? Light bright style, you have a bunch of different colored LEDs. And when you look at the light, it looks like a light bright screen. You got reds and blues and greens and dots. Well, the tri-LEDs, usually they have a one watt fixture inside, a one watt LED, a lot more punch. You get a lot more gravity. You can get a little bit wider beam angle. So you can cover a wider wall with less, with less effort, right? So tri-LEDs, here's four tri-LEDs in the room, wider beam angle, okay, get a lot more impact. You didn't have to spend as much on 12 LEDs to get that blue glow going in the room. She just wanted a nice blue wash, okay, and with DMX control, you can take, you can take that table dressing, that napkin, that swatch that, that that lovely lady gives you, and you can say, I can match this. I can be the closest person in the world to match this with a tri-LED fixture. Okay? Now tri-LEDs and LED lights, uh, a traditional RGB fixture doesn't do good uh, putting up a, an amber color. How many, how many try to put, make an amber color with an RGB fixture? Okay, red, blue, and green fixture trying to make yellow. What do you get? Kind of, <laughs> right? Yeah, you got that color. Okay? A little three-year-old color. We don't want that color. So, if you know your clients ask for amber, or they want that yellow kind of golden color, invest the money, get a tri-LED, or get a quad color LED, RGBA fixture, and they also have RGBW fixture. Anybody out there have RGBWs? 
Couple people. How many people have RGBA fixtures? You get a lot of. I'm getting a lot of requests for RGBA fixtures. Okay, and to be able to explain that to a client that you can offer them the true golden color in their room. There, well, there's I don't know four or five hundred people in here right now, and thirty people are going to book that gig. Okay, because they have the, the amber color. Now you can try to sell them all day long on puke green, whatever that color was. I don't know what color that was, but I try not to put that in my events. Right. I want to make it look elegant. So that's the uh, try. Five LEDs. Uh, try LEDs. Three RGB lenses inside. One watt LEDs. Nice impact. Makes it work good for you, right? So we want to step it up a notch. We want the big boys in the house, right? I think we want the big boys in the house. There you go. There's that, yeah. I want amber, give it to me. Now think about amber on a, or puke color on a brown wall. How, how elegant does that look, right? So know your room before you get there. You might need to do color corrections. And the only way you're gonna do that is with DMX control, okay? Doesn't mean everyone has to do DMX. We have some small little controllers over here that'll do it for you. Just a little RGB mix, make it easy for you. You can do it wireless, you can do it any way you want. How many people in the room set and forget their lights? Set and forget? Set and forget? So it's blue today and tomorrow it's red. So what do you gotta do with your 40 lights? You gotta take them home. You gotta figure out, oh, that's red, and it's red, and it's red. Oh, oh, damn, got dip switches. It's not cool LED style fixture, right? Or it doesn't have a little digital display on the back. So now I gotta figure, I gotta do rocket science again. How many people know DMX binary by heart? Right? I think I can get to two. You know, maybe, if I'm lucky. I don't even know if I get to two. So, use a cheat sheet. How many people have smartphones out there? Smartphones? Very good. Download the app. Easy. Makes your life a little easier. Okay, you type in ID DMX channel 100, and it goes two, three, six, eight, whatever. I don't even know. I'm not even gonna try to guess. Because I cheat, I just look at my program, it makes tell me. Right, and I go around, I fix all my fixtures, and it works great. What's the name of that app? I don't even know, there's, uh, my DMX software has uh, apps built into it, so you can take a look at the little uh, dip switch controls. So there's a lot of little, I've just, you could probably Google it right now and find it. A nice little down, uh, DMX app. Works great.